What up you guys? It is your girl Liva back at it again with another video. <laughs> And I have a bunch of good figures to unbox today. So before I jump into the unboxing for today, there was a couple things I wanted to talk about and just discuss with my homies because originally this week's video was going to be a reacting to Wanfest announcements and I was going to post it like a week after everyone else did on figure YouTube. Um, but no, I, I'm not going to do that this week. I'll do it eventually. Okay. But I'm kind of going through like an interesting phase with collecting. So I've been collecting for two years now. I guess this is like my third year. I don't know, I'll have to check. Um, but I've kind of been going through this phase where just like my tastes are changing. And also recently, I don't know if you've noticed this, but figures have been getting increasingly and increasingly and increasingly expensive on top of shipping prices from the US to Japan being the same. And I'm like kind of going through this phase where like I'm a little salty at collecting right now, just because I feel as though it is getting to the point where it is unaffordable for a lot of people. I'm saying this as somebody who works in IT, who has a good job, who makes decent money for where she's at in her life. I am a little salty, like for example, Nendroids being $100 for like retail or Nendroids being like close to 80K yen, like stuff like that where figure prices are just getting so expensive that I'm just kind of like, re-evaluating what I want my collection to look like and how I want to be spending my money this year. Because as much as I love collecting, I am starting to get to the point where like my monthly orders, it's like either I go out with my friends and hang out with them every weekend or I buy my figures. I don't know, like all these recent figure announcements, I feel like I can't truly enjoy them just because like I sit there and I'm like, this is gorgeous. Like I like this and I would want it, but like what if I buy it and I regret it and it ends up being like, expensive AF. Um, so I don't know, that's just my thoughts recently. Like why is figure collecting becoming so expensive? And like, why do I feel like I can't buy things that I just like, you know? In addition to the recent inflation in figure prices, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about and that is that I'm going through a huge figure purge. I don't know why, I just feel salty about the recent inflation to the point where it's made me like resent owning a lot of my figures like my dendroids so i got rid of a majority of them and now i'm getting rid of some prize figures which i've like i've sold them because of tiktok thank god i sold them so fast but now it's like the prize figures um so my collection will be changing and evolving like i'm 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 somebody that cycles a lot i'm the kind of person where if i just like a figure and i don't love it it goes like immediately i just get rid of it i don't know but yeah those are some things i wanted to quickly mention but let me show you guys what i have because it's gonna be fun <laughs> so for today i have the irina bear leg bunny from food wars i struggled saying that and i have the alice bunny as well i bought these from one of my friends my irl friends dennis um he was getting rid of a bunch of his figures because he says he wants to get a girlfriend so no more ecky figures for him him i don't know if i pronounced that correctly but i got these girls for 200 dollars plus the demon slayer box set that i gave to him so i love food wars and i got these girls i'm really hype about it and then over here i have kyo from fruits baskets and one figure that i didn't expect to get recently which is this itachi chinese limited edition um bon presto figure one of my best friends online speaks fluent chinese so she orders things for me off Taobao, so i have like a good connect hey <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, without further ado, I'm gonna like unbox everything and then talk about it. Just cause I saw, I'm not even gonna lie, I took this from Gwyn Collects. But I really liked how she did her last video where she just unboxed everything and then talked about it. I feel like I waste a lot of time opening things up. So I'm gonna try that this video and we'll see if we like it. So first up, I have the Irina Bunny from Food Wars. I'm like a huge Food Wars fan, so I'm really happy to like finally have some Food Wars figures in my collection. But I'm gonna go ahead and get her unboxed and then we will talk about her. So I have her unboxed, I have thoughts. And I mean, most of the thoughts is that I love her, especially for the price I paid. Like, thank you, Dennis, for realsies. He's a real friend, He's giving me such a good deal. I really would have preferred her tights version better. I don't know, I think it would have suited her personality more, but at the end of the day, this wasn't like a huge grail figure for me, the tights version where I would have paid 
the bank to get it. So I am really happy to have the bare leg version, but I do think she's so pretty. I just absolutely love Irina and I love Food Wars, so I'm just like so fucking happy to have her. Definitely because I have limited space in my apartment, I have to be more picky with my bunny, so I am getting rid of Xion and Elizabeth. Um, Xion's already gone, Elizabeth's for sale, unless she's gone by the time this video is posted, but I am so happy to have the Food Wars girls because I fucking love Food Wars. Like, it's such a good show. I think I've watched it like three or four times. One thing that's great about the Adina Bunny as well is that her base is like small. Look at that. So compact, so small. We love that for us. But one thing I was upset about was Ikami Mito's bunny. And like, I've been canceling so many pre-orders lately that like, I might cancel hers. I don't want to though, but like, I'm just like not in love with it. But yeah, I'm so happy to finally have a Food Wars figure in my collection and Irina at that, who I love. It's just so cute. Like, I really don't have much to say. I will show B-roll, but like, ah, I'm so happy to have her. Next up, I have the Alice Bunny from Food Wars, Adina's sister. I love Alice. I think she's such a cutie. So I'm going to go ahead and get her unboxed and then we will talk about her. So I'm back with Alice. <laughs> um, I feel like I struggled a lot to put her in the base. Um, I feel like Adina really slotted in easily and Alice kind of, she was a bit more of a struggle to put in. My camera is definitely also like whitewashing the hell out of her. Um, she, I'm looking into the viewfinder and she looks pale as fuck, um, but she's actually really nice looking. Like she's not this like, it looks like the suit and her skin are one color. That's not how it looks in real life but I love her expression. Like she's so cute. I really want Freeing to do bunny boys. A, because like the people who like men, we deserve to eat. And also because I feel like the Alice bunny would look so nice with her emo boyfriend. Just imagine like them as like a B style bunny couple. I mean, I think it would be like really cool. I think it would be hot. So one thing I know about the Alice Bunny is that her aftermarket tanked a little bit because of a small defect where her hand is not properly grasping her suit because she's supposed to be kind of like snapping it off her hip. But thankfully, I don't think the one that my friend sold to me has too much of that defect. And honestly, considering where they're gonna be displayed, which is on top of my details, I'm not like too pressed about it. But also, one thing I realized is that she is a rare short hair addition to the collection. So without further ado, let's just look at some B-roll of this cutie. And then I'll move on to the Kyon Android because I love it. Next up, we have Kyo. I feel like we're having a really good haul. I mean, like, can you ever go wrong with bunny girls? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think you can, but... <laughs> Would I say Kyo is my favorite guy from Fruits Baskets? No, but honestly, I think my favorite guy is Shigure. Like, he's like such a piece of shit. In like kind of a hot way. <laughs> Before I get him unboxed, I did want to show what he came with so that you can know before you purchase. Kyo's Nendoroid comes with a decent amount of accessories and three different expressions, as well as like a seated butt part. <laughs> um, so pretty decent for a modern Nendoroid, I would say. I'm back with Kyo. I have thoughts and I have like zero gripes, okay? <laughs> Toy Tech genuinely did the fucking thing with this Nendroid. He is so, so well made. All of his parts slotted together amazingly. I did not struggle at all. And he looks fantastic. Like I am, I am so happy. He came out so good. Considering the fact that I'm on a Nendroid stick, that I'm mad that Nendroids are expensive and that I sold most of mine. Like, I don't regret this at all. He came out so... Ah! 
He came out really good. Like, I think he looks so cute. Look at this sweet, sweet boy. Like, just genuinely amazing looking. Like, he is a fucking good Nendroid. Now, would I prefer to have a scale figure? Yes. However, I don't like the one that's currently out on the market. And like, will we get one? Who knows? Plus, I'm always going to be a supporter of shoujo figures if it's a sojo series shoujo series god i cannot talk um that i like so like he's perfect like he's genuinely perfect and like i feel like i rarely say that about an android lately like i'm like oh it's cute no he's perfect so i'm gonna show you guys b-roll and we could just like we about him together and then i'll leave one more figure one more figure to unbox so here's the b-roll for kill the final figure itachi um so this figure was definitely an impulse purchase i saw one of my tiktok mutuals bought this and i was obsessed with it this is what he's supposed to look like it is a limited edition chinese new year style version of him hey <laughs> And I just thought it was so cool. I don't know. I'm not a huge prize figure buyer just because I don't really have like a lot of space in my apartment. Even though I have this brand new detail, I'm being picky, okay, you guys? You gotta be picky sometimes. You gotta be like, you gotta be exclusive to join my collection. But I got this off of Taobao and he came pretty fast, I would say. So I'm gonna open him up because I love Itachi. He is my baby daddy, okay? If you think he's your baby daddy, get out of my face. I don't wanna talk to you. So before I show you guys him put together, I wanted to show you guys the pieces because he's genuinely, I'm genuinely impressed even before him, he's like put together. So I'm gonna have to like assemble him like a resin statue, but like these pieces are heavy, incredibly heavy. Like this is not cheap, plastic i am not sure what he's made out of but like he's also pretty big for a prize figure so that is just one thing i wanted to show you guys like really heavy deluxe looking and feeling so that is really intriguing i'm wondering if because this was a china exclusive for the chinese new year that they like went all out but i only paid 25 dollars for him and then shipping from taobao from china to where i live was also 25 bucks so like what? I'm back with my man, my baby daddy. <laughs> um, I really struggled putting him together. The plastic is malleable for jerseys, but he was tight. Like the pieces were tight, especially his little crow. That took me like a hot, hot minute to do. But I think he is amazing. Like this is one of the craziest prize figures I've ever seen in my life. Literally stunning. I love the unique like Chinese outfit that they put him in, like non-canonical outfits. I eat them the fuck up. I think he looks so hot. And I'm just like, he's huge. Like he, dare I say he almost looks like a scale figure, but like obviously not quite there. Like this is the kind of figure quality I expect from like what I would hope pop-up parades do, which they don't. I definitely feel like their quality is way more subpar than this figure. But he's amazing, amazing quality, amazing size. I love his outfit. I adore him. Like, <gasps> He was an impulse purchase for sure. And a lot of the time I regret figure impulse purchases, but like, I don't regret this at all. I think he's amazing. I actually love him. And actually I realized the only man I have in my details is Shirogane from Love is War. So he's gonna be going in for sure. Like what a coveted position for you, Itachi, huh? I love him though. He's fucking amazing, okay? He's fucking really fucking bomb. If you can pick up this figure, Definitely try to order it off of Taobao, but like you should pick him up if you like him He's amazing. He's fucking worth the like $50 I paid total like what? I could easily see this figure like aftermarket being like hundred two hundred dollars But like don't do that. Okay, don't don't inflate it, but I'm in love with him So I'm gonna show b-roll cuz like I can't keep rambling on about how amazing he is. So here's the b-roll So that 
that was the haul for today <gasps> you guys it was so fucking good okay i feel like that itachi figure he ate it the fuck up like he was my favorite fucking figure out of the whole haul i'm cursing a lot but he was my favorite figure he just like he just like killed it like my expectations were like kind of like skeptical but like for a prize figure I just feel like he's so amazing. A very rare pickup for me because I don't typically buy men because I just feel like female figures are better. But like, wasn't that like such a good haul? Like, it was a good haul. Like, it was a good haul. Okay, you can't, you can't, you can't deny that. Like, I had a lot of fun unboxing everything today. I hope you did too. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. <laughs> I don't even know where I was at. Sorry, I was flipping out. Um, that was a bomb ass haul though, right? Bunny Girls, Food Wars, amazing Nendroid, amazing prize figures. Okay, everyone get this video to a million likes, a million bajillion views. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm wiling out. I'm wiling out. I swear to God. But that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, a comment, a subscribe. Let me what know. God, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Who was your favorite? Um, I was originally gonna say Kyo, but now I wanna say Taji. But like, I'm, I'm, still, I'm looking at all these figures in front of me and I just like, I love them all. And I'm honestly really happy that I got rid of two bunnies to make room for these new bunnies. Um, Cause I love Irina and Alice more than Shion and Elizabeth. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what to do for the outro, so. Uh, bye.